Babies who arrive a little early or who need a little extra care at birth spend their first days of life in the special care nursery, located on the third floor of the Bishop Dowling Wing. So when parents arrive at the special care nursery, they can expect a really high quality of care for their infants. When babies are in the special care nursery, it's not usually what parents expected during their pregnancy, so it's usually somewhat of a stressful time for parents, but we are very careful in trying to convey that their baby is in a safe place and that we're all working together with the families to ensure the best outcome for their baby. Parents who come into the nursery are generally very scared. It's a scary place because it's an unfamiliar place for them. Basically what we try to do is we try to explain what's happening with the baby, make sure that they understand that all the occurrences, all the therapies that are being uh, given to the baby. Some of the babies in the special care nursery were born here at St. Joe's. Others were born at McMaster Children's Hospital and graduate to our level of care before heading home. So what we see on a daily basis is uh, premature babies, babies that have had some difficulties during delivery, needs a little bit of help with breathing, needs oxygen, and sometimes the odd cases where they need antibiotics and intravenous therapy. You can expect to provide much of the day-to-day, hands-on care your baby needs while he or she is in the special care nursery. You might feel a bit nervous at first, but don't worry. The nurses will help you to help your baby. So when babies are in the special care nursery, it's really a team approach. There are a lot of different people that families meet who are caring for their baby. That includes the bedside nurse who is caring for their baby directly, the charge nurse who oversees all the babies in the nursery, residents and medical students that may rotate through the nursery, the staff pediatricians, nurse practitioner, our social workers, our child life specialists, and other people who are part of the team. Access to the special care nursery is carefully controlled so that we can keep your baby safe. We are what we call a locked unit, which means that you have to be buzzed in because we want to know who's coming in to see your baby and not anybody can come and walk through the door and see the babies that are in our special care nursery. We encourage parents and family members to visit, but we want to know who you are and so we ensure that it's the appropriate people that are coming in to visit your baby. So here in our special care nursery, any parents can visit at any time of the day. Siblings are welcome to come in the unit. Other visitors can visit, but we do ask that they are with the parents. And it is a policy that two visitors at a time is what we try to follow. Maintaining an infection-free environment is a top priority for our staff. Infection control is at most importance. So when parents enter the unit, they make sure that they wash their hands before they touch their baby, they wash their hands and upon um, leaving the unit, they wash their hands as well. You will be asked to postpone any visits to your baby if you have an infection. So the special care nursery is a very family-centered environment. We do encourage the whole family to be involved, both mother and father, as well as any siblings that are within the family um, unit. We make sure that they come in, introduce their uh, baby brother or baby sister, to let them know that, yeah, you know what, within the next little bit, they're going to have a baby brother or sister that's coming home with them. It's an exciting time for everybody in the family, including siblings, to come in and see the new baby. So we encourage that, but you know we have to again make sure that we don't put the babies at risk. So we want to make sure that the children are immunized, and we particularly for things such as chickenpox. As people are aware, there is the chickenpox vaccine, and it takes a little bit of time for the chickenpox vaccine to kick in. So we like it to have been given. 21 or more days before the child comes into the nursery just to make sure that they are truly immune. Or if they have had a case of chicken pox in the past, then we know that they will be immune. Our unit is physically divided into two separate sections. Sometimes we need to move babies around in order to meet the needs of a particular baby. Communication is important. If you have any questions about your baby's care, please ask your baby's nurse. Some of our babies are with us for several months. During this time, we get quite attached to our babies and our parents. We love to hear how our babies are doing after they head home. 